welcome to day five of my weight loss journey yes the day has started and yeah i'm hoping to do better than yesterday today on my talk walk walk session i'm going to be talking about women and exercise yes yes i'm a female and how our exercise lifestyle kind of affects us so let me start so personally you know when you are about menstruating or your menstrual time exercise is something not the most comfortable to do maybe because the you, you are bleeding you know you're wearing a pad a tampon whatever you're wearing sometimes it's not the most comfortable to work out with so personally i don't like to work out when i'm in my menses but then i like to do it right after because in your menses sometimes it comes with its own issues you'd have to be dealing with and so personally i prefer to do or start my workout usually after my menses now the beautiful thing about menses is that your lifestyle also has an influence on your menses so if you're a very active person you realize that the pain discomfort and those things they're a bit minimum i'll share with you in my earlier video that um the typical type who has issue with this money yeah and it's become serious so i began to put on extra extra weight because initially it wasn't that bad like simple bluefin or like paracetamol or any pink or diclo could just solve it for me then with time it was just getting horrible like vomiting more i'm running because so i'm very weak anything that's going in is coming out and that makes you very 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 dehydrated and very weak and you're also in pain and you know pain is not a nice thing to be in so that is one challenge um i did face along and i remember um i went to my guy he was we checked everything and he was like oh yeah it's everything out okay it was like yeah maybe you should just check your lifestyle just start walking start exercising and all those ones and i think i tried it before it was not totally gone but it was better off yes but i think with time i just allowed work work and all those things it's into my mind and then i lost my balance and that got me worse off so the thing is for female your lifestyle matters a lot if you want to have good flow have it less discomforting yeah your lifestyle matters a lot very very much what you are eating what you are taking in and all those ones and so usually within your menses time you may feel very much bloated or of the water retention in your body it's around that time you realize that your diet should be less of salt in there as well and then less of the refined refined issues like the refined products in there and all of these actually affect your menses so from my end what i've come to realize is when i'm more physically active the flow is better the pain the pain is not like eliminated but then it feels better so one of the main inspiration for my getting back to the road and trying to shred off some of the weight is that i've realized as i'm becoming more and more big it's becoming more and more serious because for a while now i've had to be doing more back to back at the hospital yeah some of you and you see the irritating part about menses is everyone and their theory sometimes people feel like oh it's in real they don't do it like you are too pampered or something and so you can't bear pain but pain is not anybody's friend so it's wrong if you go that way on people and a lot of people will give you a lot of suggestions or take this herbal medicine or do this foot washing cleansing ritual exercise or do this take this painkiller instead or oh, don't take any painkiller oh let's go with fruit let's go with this yeah so big reaction you've done virtually everything so and it's like it still isn't eliminated so that is the thing about um, when it comes to this this malaria thing i think ultimately i just noticed that i'm a cause of it i'm part of it because my lifestyle isn't getting better and so my body is becoming worse off as well so yes something which is of course to me because 
me i've experienced it uh -huh. i've lived that life and i'm living the type of so now i don't live it anymore so yes i'm putting in my effort to also check that now now about how many times you should be on the road how long i think um virtually like i said on the first day it's about consistency like if you can even do 30 minutes of work every day or 30 minutes of work even three times a week it says it's good yes but it's up to you and sometimes you can just push yourself a little bit more yesterday i didn't really sleep too early um yes but then i was editing my video for the day four usually i like to do it back to back like when i shoot then i edit so usually the work mode but that didn't make me sleep too early and this morning honestly like waking up was was something but I had to be obedient and disciplined to my lamp and then just get up and then just dress up and then take the room. So those are part of the journey and so you need to be more intentional about it. If you want to do 10 minutes, if you want to do 20 minutes, I think you got every day or something or two or three times in a week. Good morning. You would have to decide that and then work on it. So that is one thing about it. And Yes, it only gets better. Like I keep saying, it only gets better. So this is um, a research by Flo. Flo has a menstrual app or a female tracking app as well. So you can download the app. I personally use Flo. So this is um, Flo. This is how it is. Yes, I have my personal details in there as well. So this is for me. They do a lot of research and stuff into female health. And this is about exercising during your period, the benefits and things to avoid. So it's saying that yes, exercise while your period while in your period seems like a counterintuitive thing to do, but it can help alleviate menstrual symptoms. However, there are some limitations to be aware of. So yes, the benefit is that it helps you to check the pain cramp bloating because usually around that time. You may look way bigger, who like a big, a big, but sometimes it's because around that time the body is retaining a lot of water in there. And the question is, that one, actually, there are days when you just don't feel too good, you just feel like so down. Those ones come mood swings, irritability, fatigue, nausea. So, there are just a few of the benefits that could be experienced while exercising during your period. In addition, general fitness is important for health that can reduce the risk of serious medical issues like heart attacks strokes diabetes all of those ones yes that's why we are usually exercising but it's not the most comfortable thing to do when i mess that's a reality so in fact exercise can increase the production of endophones endorphins which is a feel-good hormones which reduces anxiety depression pain and improves your mood so some of the exercises to do during your period is walking so like I said, walking is like your go-to exercise if you're a female. It's just, um, easy exercise that doesn't require any special equipment, clothing or location. There's light um, cardio or aerobic exercise where the key word is light. Because if you do anything which is too strenuous on you, you are not going to do yourself good when you're menstruating. So whether you're jogging, cycling, swimming or anything, it take it easy or consider a shorter workout than normal personally i'd prefer to walk than to jog it doesn't feel too comfortable and if you don't take care you may end up vomiting or something along the way strength training if you are up for it try some gentle exercises and consider light weight that you might normally use avoid heavy duty lift at this time of the month gentle stretching and balancing exercise while on your period things to avoid so strenuous and prolonged exercises yes they may be good for your body but not when you are menstruating that doesn't mean that you have to stop your normal training but you have to be cautious so out of a study found that 60 minutes of moderate to intense exercise during menstruation caused exercise induced inflammation you're already bloating you're already feeling big you're already like not in the perfect correct shape and safe sound of mind if you go anything strenuous before you realize you get inflammations and then your situation gets like worse off so if you feel unusually fatigued nauseous 
or increase in the pain of comfort stop what you are doing and rest so like i said around that time don't force females to go on the road when they are not when they are in there because in your menses you are very delicate your body is already um doing a whole sort of processing on itself and you are not in your normal state that is the reality that things you need to look out for so period hygiene and exercise i think that one depends on you whether you're going to use your tampons and all those ones so they are better so we said other period products like parts menstrual cups and dicks work just as well as or even better than tampons for some people you can also combine some of these products to keep your underwears from getting stained yes use what works best for you like i said and after the exercise you have to shower you have to change your underwears use fresh parts or tampons and then all those ones so yes like i said we're on point and you can try the flow app they have quite a lot of articles in there as well and about menses please my guys when you see the ladies be more empathetic don't go and ask them jama wadi and abba that's your thing come i'll be your thing come what do you mean by your thing <laughs> Yes, I think maybe it's time we start having intentional talks about menstruation, which is a part of every woman. Yes, every male, whether you have a sister, a wife, girlfriend, side chick, whatever you have, once the female, that's a normal part of them. And I think sometimes about having that talk and making it not look dirty or indecent, because yes, you, 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 wife. Your body is generating sperms and all those things between you, which we aren't talking about. So, if we are also generating eggs which are not being used, which are coming out waste product or byproduct, yes, we can talk about it. But then, let's talk about it in a nice, way, in a decent way. Don't, um, should I say, make it look like it's evil or dirty and all those things, and make the person feel comfortable because already you don't feel too comfortable. So in our part of the world talking about such things so yes i think people should be more empathetic towards the females to help them open up and then talk about it because once we talk about it we can then share experiences and see what is working for someone what is not working for them and then see how to would go about it so yes that means short talk you have to get intentional about it and talk about it so yes back to my women and exercise um, I think for women, it's pretty much essential and needed we exercise um, more, even though we tend to do it less than the guys. It's like you guys tend to be more physically active than we are, but we need it a bit because, you know, our body kind of, a lot of us, just from Africa like this, we tend to outgrow our bills. So you can just imagine, look at yourself now versus one young mate of yours or a mate of your started school or started life with even in primary till now you realize that you may look older than the person and all those ones our body tends to grow a bit faster at our part of the world in here and the hormones are also bad. so one thing is that if you want to really look good feel good be healthy all the time still be you know attractive and still be in the market still be looking snitch in there exercise is a key part in there there are a lot of shortcut ways a lot of people try to sell us or market to us like taking the diet pills i tried that before and that thing some people just lie to us they'll tell you oh take these pills within one month you've lost weight i remember at a point um i want to talk about something weighing like 75 pounds. At that point, everybody was like, hey, Abba, I can say Papa, Abba, Abba, Day, Abba, Abba, you know, this is, this is people just saying I've grown big in the fancy language. And it was coming to one point. I remember there was a particular day, I came out of my hostel and I got about five people telling me that it got to me instantly. Then I just called a friend who was selling some of those weight loss pills. I was like, sweetheart, I just want to try this now because it is just getting out of hand. And then, fortunately, I received it the next day. And I started it, but then into it, I realized actually I was struggling because when I swallow it, my throat was always irritated in there as well. So my body was not reacting very well to the pills. And truth is, I was not really losing so much of the weight. Like I wasn't seeing anything going. Yes, but I was taking this pill and my throat was just like getting more irritated. So I linked up, I was like, ah, 
Charlie, I'm not seeing results too. I've done one week, I've done two weeks. What's happening? And she was very honest with me. She was like, some of these things sometimes takes time. So even on her journey, she has to do it like over three months and she got her results. And so most of the people you see, sometimes, yes, marketing, people want to sell on it. But people are not as honest as they really have to be. And so if you're going for a weight loss plan, like I said earlier, make sure that you have a long-term plan. And weight loss is not a nine-day wonder. And so be careful of the options you want to go with. Even if you go and do surgery to shred off the fat, you need to maintain it. Health, you're going to go back in there. And you have to go and reopen all the wounds and then we'll do another one. So that was my encounter with the pills. It didn't work for me because, yes, at that point I needed fast results. And I think the irritation to my throat, mm -mm, I wasn't going to pay money to, to have issues as well. So I stopped that as well. And a lot of diet issues on weight loss, I'll be talking about that in my one of my sessions on the walk talk talk walk session yes so personally i tried the capsules i've tried old diet and i think i didn't perfect that properly but i'll be talking about those diets because obviously if you want to lose weight what comes to mind is how do i lose it and when it comes to losing weight yes i said exercise plus your diet should give you good results when it comes to what losing weight all things all other things being equal and so for personally what i know of what i've tried is the oats diet i also know of the keto diet because i've done some few um, keto diet recipes for my folks who wanted to shred like on the ketogenic diet and so i have a good amount of knowledge when it comes to feeding or dieting on the keto diet although personally i'm not um like fully geared towards ketogenic diets because um personally i feel these are diets which yes keto diet helps you lose weight in the fastest quickest way that one no two ways is the like it's still guys there but then i think after the keto diet it's either make it a lifestyle forever and that means you have to buy a lot of um, how do you call it a lot of and there's a name for it i'll look for the name and put it there yeah so you need a lot of um, those ones to kind of substitute in your diet because omega 3 and things you need them you need to be buying a lot of these items there to really keep you balanced and fit in there and then aside that too like i said it has to be a lifetime something and the third thing too is that it's very costly around where we find ourselves ketogenic diet we need to many because it is costly yeah so there are lots of ways of losing your weight what are you going to do oats diet? They're going to do pure vegetables. What are you going to go off carbo totally? All of those ones, yes, there are ways you can go about it, but they all have their own consequences as well. So I'll be sharing that in one of my walk talk talk session because those are critical things. And those are deep issues. I mean, we have to take them one by one so I don't rush it and people don't come and attack me afterwards that I'm spoiling it or something. I just want to give you an honest, objective take on them. The good, the bad, the ugly, what happens on your journey. Because as much as possible, I, I want people to be real online. Yes, be real, give people the real truth so they know what they are dealing with. Then they know that when it gets in there and it's happening, then they know that, oh, I'm safe. This is actually what it's supposed to be. So yes, for my females, please, like, yes putting effort to get your weight checked you don't want to outgo your bae or your boo or you're working with your with your husband or your boyfriend or your bae and then some of you like ah is that his mother is that his big sister no that thing is very irritating so you need to put in some work to always look good and look young and not outgo your bae and boo and to also most, most importantly to be healthy and feel healthy in there as well and i think it's because a lot of us also want to exercise for a certain reason we are exercising because there is a part of your body you would really want to get trimmed most females here where i find myself in africa we don't want to lose weight it's first and foremost our tummy we want our tummy to go away secondly 
your arm fat. Yes, personally, I have issue with arm fat, and I want them off as much as possible. So yes, and you know when it comes to the walking and things, sometimes as you start walking, the ties and things tend to shred off quicker. And so you're, you're wondering how am I going to get my body cut? My shape is going to be dismantled and things. Yes. Yeah, so as you go on, I'm going to show you how to go about those and about your tummies and all those ones. We'll be doing exercise as well. Yeah. For the first week, I believe walking and getting your body used to it is the best way to start. And then we merge in with some aerobics and other exercises as well. Yes. And Waist trainers, yes, I know we can't talk about females and talk about exercise without other support kits like the waist trainers. Um, I think I want to talk about this fully in a session or in the walk talk talk session. So keep up with me or this weight loss. I'm always talking about waist trainers in there. Yes, so yes, I do use waist trainers, but then I have how I use it, how long I use it and what has worked for me or how it's worked for me by far i want to share it because a lot of people these days are also doing their sales more harm than good in the name of what waist trainers and so yes i'll be sharing that here as well with you so you can appreciate it yes so i'm going to walk back to my end when i get to my end as usual i'll let you see the walk my lady i did did I do better than yesterday or did I do worse? <laughs> I'm going to share that with you when I get to the room as well. So today, yeah, I'm sweating more because I had to walk a bit faster after the talk. Yes, I realized when I'm talking, I have to slow down or else you can't get properly. And then when I was done, I had to just put in more speed to get to my end. So yeah, I'm sweating at this because I'm working more briskly to the house now. Yes, I'm virtually done. So I'm going to share my speedometer count for today, what I've done this morning as well. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and then learn from my weight loss journey too. Please do make sure you like, you share, you subscribe, and then make every food moment count with me. We're just working journey, we're lost journey, make it count. <laughs> Lots of love for my team and I. Bye.